A great passion for science and learning was nurtured at an early age for Dr. Abigail Ortiz. I was born in Mexico City um, in, a, in a very nice family. My mother is a historian, my father was a biologist, so we, we've been probably kind of into science for a long time. Um, I went to school in Mexico City, I studied medicine, and then I went on to do my residency in psychiatry. A top student, she won an award and the attention of Dalhousie University, where she was invited to do postdoctoral work in the field of mood disorder, which she found fascinating. Well, I've always uh, liked neuroscience, um, and I thought about doing a PhD right after my medical training, but then I thought that to understand human nature, like to really get into the soul of the patient, you need to know much more about the clinical features of the illnesses. That appetite for knowledge combined with expertise in a wide range of science applications led Dr. Ortiz into a very intriguing field of research, one that incorporates mathematics of all things. And my main piece of research and my main interest is in mathematical modeling. That means that we want to know particularly how mood is regulated in healthy controls, in patients, and on the relatives of those patients with bipolar disorder. Now that we understand that mathematics can help us to know that the mood differences are subtle but present, we can predict mood episodes. So we want to know that, let's say, someone with bipolar is doing fine, but they start to sleep a little bit um, less than their normal. They start to talk a bit faster than normal. People are noticing, and although this is not an episode per se, there is a difference. So we want to know, using mathematical tools, that they are going to have an episode and then intervene right there, instead of waiting for them to have a full-blown episode and being admitted to hospital. A focus on prevention has won Dr. Ortiz widespread praise from colleagues and mentors in her field, as well as international awards and accolades. Such accolades have also made her very much in demand as teacher and mentor, a role she enjoys and comes by naturally. Teaching is important for me because my, my parents are teachers, so I think that I have that in my, in my genes or something. Um, I think teaching is part of our legacy. I think teaching not only means just giving the resident or the student something to do, I think it means incorporating them to your team, to your way of thinking, or trying to, you know, trying, trying to make them um, have a different approach on, on a problem. Fueled by a love of science that is matched only by her passionate care and commitment to her patients, Dr. Ortiz is clearly driven to succeed. That bodes well for those in her sphere of influence. I think I have an inner motivation to know, to ask questions, just because I'm curious. Um, I care about the patients a lot. I care about what we can do better, because I think there is always room for improvement. I like challenging myself. I like, uh, I like this feeling of being alive.